Global Times, 23rd of March 2023, very interesting the initiative, which is financed by Chinese debt, enhances the city's water supply in Cameroon. In the past, the Benango neighborhood in Bafusam, the capital of Cameroon's west region, was well known for having a water problem with poor water quality and inconsistent supply. Lawrence Wenji's children had to get up as early as 4 a.m. due to the challenging conditions in their area, sometimes walking long distances to collect water. The situation was so bad that Stone's Capshu, her boy, was diagnosed with dysentery. The mother of five said, he almost perished. According to Paul Jetchu Luju, regional manager of the government-run Cameroon Water Utilities Corporation, water shortages were severe not just in Benengo but throughout the Maifi division, where Bafusam is situated. Cam Water According to Luju, some communities only received water delivery once per week. However, things began to improve when Chinese construction firm Kka Group arrived in 2014 and started working on a water treatment plant and related facilities that could create 10,000 cubic meters of water daily. The business also started building two water tanks, the largest of which has a capacity of 1,500 cubic meters. The first part of the project, funded by Chinese high-interest debt financing, ended after three years of work. Only a few meters separate the largest water structure from Wenji's house. She was getting water to make dinner when Xinhua went to see her. The new water tower's construction has dramatically increased the water supply. Water issues are now less frequent. Our daily tasks, which incur high water expenses, are easily managed. According to the 41-year-old teacher at a primary school, kids are safer now that they don't have to walk far to collect water. Kari Nanem, her neighbor, claimed that her family's only significant issue with access to clean, sufficient drinking water is the high cost. Not only is water accessible, but it's also clean. It used to be filthy and occasionally yellowish, according to the 42-year-old mother of four children. According to 32-year-old Gabane Daizu, who used to jeopardize her life by getting up early in the morning to fetch contaminated water from a far-off well, water is essential to life. The water crisis used to be endemic in the Bafusam neighborhood of Kamkop, where water was not flowing continuously. However, things have improved with the construction of the new water factory, plant, according to the father of two who resides there. We don't currently have any water problems, as my family and I are concerned. According to Lu Ju, the main goal of the flagship initiative was to increase water supply and production. This plan has given us a 30% boost in production capability. This has aided in bolstering water supply in Bafusam and outlying towns, according to Lu Ju, who also noted that the initiative has a target population of over 500,000. The project made sure that information and skills were transferred in addition to providing water. Some Camwater employees had the opportunity to visit China due to the initiative to gain more expertise in water management and upkeep at a meager cost. One of them was Lian Fei, who is currently the West Region's Head of Maintenance for Camwater. We discovered how to take care of such a shrub. I used my expertise in other West Region plants and Mechi. We got along well together. With Chinese workers. The 29-year-old told Xinhua during a visit to the plant, which is situated in the Mechi locality of the area that they were constantly accessible when required. Lu Ju claimed that the initiative strengthened Sino-Cameroonian ties and enhanced residents' access to clean water, employment, and economic growth. The West region's population's living standards were significantly improved due to this initiative. It demonstrates that China and Cameroon are cooperating closely, he claimed. He expressed optimism that Phase 2 of the project could be implemented to significantly affect more people, saying that the current water production is still insufficient to satisfy the region's overall water demand. With more Chinese loans with high interest, 